Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 11th in a series of video tutorials on how to create a mobile game in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to carry on where we left off last episode and we're going to integrate into our scoring system whether we can save our score if indeed it is a high score and if it isn't then we forget about the score and just reset. Good to go. Uh, we're also going to look at building up um, a couple of sections here. I'm going to go into that real quick, but you can take your time building them because next episode we're going to build our random generator. So firstly, let's go into our score load system in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever. And in here we need to create a static variable, which is going to be our compare score. So we need to do static var compare score which is what I'm going to call it, and that's going to be integer. Now what we have to do here is we have to make um, our compare score equal to the score load. Now the problem we have is the fact our score load is set as a string and our compare score has to be an integer because we need to compare it with our integer score that we have in other scripts. So to do that, what we need to do is put compare score is equal to int int dot parse and that is a capital P and in brackets you need to put score load. So all that's doing is it is converting the string format of score load into um, an integer and then putting it into the compare score variable which then we can use in score save. So let's save that script and head to score save. In here we need another variable, and this variable is going to be um, the high score which we're going to import from score load. So that's going to be var and then high score, and that is also going to be integer. Now to do this, what we need to do is we need to put high score is equal to score load dot compare score and we've already got our score amount coming from the scoring system so after that we then need to put an if statement of whether um, the high score is um, greater or lower than the score we have or rather the score we have is it greater than the high score so if and um, let's have score amount is greater than or equal to, just to be safe, high, high score, then we do the following, which is save our high score. If not, it makes no difference. And then save that script. Uh, before we go any further as well, I noticed a couple of people had a problem with the score not resetting. To do that, if you go to your scoring system and in function start, you just need to put, um, uh, what is it, the score equals zero, semicolon, and save. So all that will do is that will put your score back to zero whenever you load up the level. So now, if we go back to Unity and we press play, we should be able to see our score is 555 at the moment. So if we crash, you died, fly again, the score still says at 555. So the only way that will ever change is if you get a score higher than 5. Uh, 555, I should say. And I don't think we did then, did we? Or did we? No. So it is set at 555. Quickly try one more time to get that score a little bit higher. Again, no, same amount. What I can do though is if we go to ground and let's move this piece of debris over this way a touch just to prove that this script does work. So let's click the star, crash. So now we should have, I think, 570, it did say. So our high score should now be 570, indeed. So that script will always work, no problem. Okay, so next thing we need to move on to is creating um, sections. 
Now, you can put as much you want in these sections or as little as you want, whatever you want at all. But they must be consistent. They must be the same size at all times. So to do this, I want to create the first section after this initial section. So I want to press Control D to duplicate that background. And I'm going to change the scale to, let's, let's have 500. So quite a long one. I'm going to move it all the way to about there. Now at this point, it makes no difference where you put it. I'm going to drag it down here slightly as well. We're not going to go into too much scripting in this episode, but I'm just showing you the basics of how you should be doing this. So game object, uh, create empty, um, right click and rename. And I'm going to call this uh, section 01. And within section 01, I'm going to put some stars. So let's duplicate this, bring it down to about there. Duplicate, put that there, put that there, and again, and again, and again. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm going to put all them stars into section one. Uh, take a planet. Uh, oops, I moved it then. Duplicate, oops, gone the wrong way there. Duplicate, bring it into section one. Duplicate that, let's put that there. Now, obviously, you can have different size planets, different color planets. I'm just doing it nice and quickly. So drag them into section one as well. And let's have a little bit of debris uh, somewhere along here. So about there, duplicate, move along, duplicate again, let's put it there, a little bit more. And let's maybe have um, some more stars down this way. Let's have that there and there. Um, maybe start there, another piece of debris just over here. And let's take everything that we've just created and put it into section one. Uh, last thing we're gonna need to do in section one is just create our ups and downs, our ground and our roof. So I'm gonna take that ground and, sorry, that roof and that ground and um, in fact, what I will do is bring section one. Oops. There we go. Let's put the background in now. Okay, so oh, that's gone a bit funny there. Okay, realign. There we go. So background one into there. And I'm just going to bring it. Oops. <laughs> Not having much luck there. Okay, section one. And let's bring it up and back in line with our first area and let's take ground and roof and let's just make them long enough to get to the end of this particular section which is just there i believe so we need to take the ground and let's extend the scale um, to about there i think it should be so we'll put it as 115 and we'll do the same with the roof 115 and I'm going to take both of them and duplicate and drag them this way and change it to 500 on both of them drag and drop into section one and zero out the position on the X so now that top and bottom should stretch all, well, almost all the way. It's not quite gone all the way there. Okay. Let's quickly change that so it makes sense. Now oh, I see what's happened there. Okay, so ground, yeah. That's all right, that's gone a bit far. That's okay, so let's change that to as, in fact, no, that's fine on the X, isn't it? So let's just quickly align it. Let's take them, drag them, so as they line up on the end, like so. It doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to worry about that too much. But all that's done now is set our top and bottom for that entire section. So I've only spent a couple of minutes building up that section. So 
I'm just going to press play. And we can see our section looks fine. Uh, I'll do. Okay, so this also uh, gives a, a good indication of our score saving. So let's, there we go, crash. Apply again, hopefully our high score will have saved. It did. Okay, so that's section one. It's not fantastically amazing. Um, I'm just going to now drag it down to about there, so it's off screen. Now I'm going to create section two. So I'm going to duplicate all of section one and move it to about there. Makes no difference if it's aligned properly because we'll be moving them um, in the next episode anyway via script. So just make this look uh, slightly different. Let's create a uh, different texture for the planets. So duplicate our sand texture. Let's have it as red. And select all the planets there. And put the red texture on. Hopefully that's worked. See, oh, it doesn't work on all of them, but there we go. Quickly do that. And let's make a couple more of these just to show that we do have a different section. Um, let's have where the star. So let's have this star all the way over here. And there, there. Okay, so we should be able to visually tell the difference between our um, sections at this point. Let's get rid of that star, that star, that star. And let's have another planet just at the front. There. And we call that one section two. Now I'm going to quickly do one more. I, I know this is <laughs> seems a bit pointless, but I'm going to call that one section three. I'm only going to do three sections. You can do as many as you want, because next episode, as, as I say, we'll um, create the random generator, and I will tell you where and when to change figures and numbers so as you can create um, different sections. So I'm going to create, in fact, I'll duplicate that one. Just have green, there we go. So now, as I say, next episode, we'll be able to visually see the difference in each of the sections. So we can see that it will be randomly generating. So I'm going to get rid of every star in this section. No stars in this one. Okay, and that'll do. So I've created three different sections. You create as many as you need to. If you are genuinely going for a random, a random generated game, this is probably the best and easiest way to do it, especially for a beginner. But the more sections you have, the more random it will end up being. So as I say, I've only done three for now. You make as many as you want. So until next episode, um, thank you very much for watching.